So we've had the draft tools, grand fall pressure washer for about nine months now, and it's one of the best pieces of kit we have for our truck. So when draft tools asked us if we wanted to try out their new version, we were definitely excited to do so. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new Grand Fall Pressure Washer Pro. We're gonna do a quick unboxing, do a side-by-side -side comparison, and our thoughts on the new one and all the improvements. Hey guys, hello, keep it dirty off-road. So this is our Draft Tools Grand Fall Pressure Washer. We've had this thing for nine months and we love it. It's actually made it that much easier for us to wash the truck. The setup time is super quick. During the Southern California muddy season, it's helped us a lot keeping that truck nice and clean. So we absolutely love it. The Rio has been amazing. Just the convenience of this thing has been awesome. But the solution is not perfect. Draft Tools decided to upgrade it and address a lot of those complaints that most of the users have had. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy, show you guys all the upgrades, all the differences, and why this thing is worth the money, and give it a try out. See how it works. Ooh. So this is the new Pro Washer. It is a little bit different. It has a similar shape, but it is a little bit different. According to the website, you have a new hose. This is a soft hose, a little bit more professional hose. And apparently this hose can actually be replaced and removed, which is a big deal. It also has a new motor, new induction motor, which is supposed to be more efficient and quieter. So it actually can handle higher pressure and run at about 10 decibels quieter. They also say that they upgraded the foam cannon. So this is supposed to be an all metal foam cannon, whereas before the standard foam cannon was plastic. They upgraded the hose and apparently they upgraded the fittings as well and then finally they upgraded the gun and this is supposed to be an all metal gun we need to do a side by side because this looks all plastic to me so we're gonna have to take a look at what the differences actually are to system so let's start doing that really quick so first let's compare the foam cannons so the actual middle hardware here in the middle looks very similar this is the old one this is the new one the new one has a stubbier canister so you have a different nozzle design where well, you really notice the differences in the actual outside nozzle when we first had this this was kind of a little bit of a pain to adjust you couldn't get a good grip on it but it's got a very firm feel to it right so you really had to get a good grip to get it adjusted this one has a beefier look so you can grab it and adjust it more but it doesn't feel as tight as this one does like look at the movement I can adjust it very easily, which may be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure, but this one's very easy to adjust. Whereas this one requires a whole lot more force to make an adjustment, which when you're trying to adjust this thing too, it makes it that much more difficult. So I'm hoping that's a good thing. So looking at them side by side, there's some obvious differences. Starting from the top to the bottom, the hose is different. This hose has a softer feel. This hose has more give. It's easier to move. It's easier to flex, a little bit softer. Well, as this one, there's no <laughs> There's not much given it. It's very rough. And from what I've read, this is replaceable too. That one was not. That one has a crimp connection and apparently this one is not. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna pull this all the way out and see if that's true. The stop also looks different. The stop's much larger on this one. It has a little bit more rubberized stop whereas this one was more of a plastic one. And then they also redesigned the guide. Before the guide was a little bit lower and has this little bar on top of it. The new guide has a more exposed look. It looks to be very similar. The actual piece that it goes into is very different. I'm wondering, oh yeah, it's very different. The other one would only have rollers on the top and the bottom. This has bearings all the way around. Well, this one only had a roller on top and on bottom. This made it very difficult trying to pull this thing out and back in if you're doing it at an angle. So this looks like a very welcome change where it's bearings all the way around. So that's pretty cool. You also notice the bottom change, right? There's a different color. This wasn't exposed before. It's all black. It's all covered up. Whereas a new one, you can partially see the motor housing, I guess is what you can call it, right? It has kind of like a little bit of a window. The buttons are also different. This has an orange button. Well, this has a black button. The hoses that it comes with are very different. The stock hose on the regular one, your typical cheap flimsy hose. Whereas this one has a much nicer rubberized hose. The big differences that I'm noticing is with the gun. According to the website, this gun is supposed to be all metal. This looks to be plastic, whereas this one is plastic as well. This one has kind of like a really small design. It feels pretty small, whereas this one, I don't know. Maybe this is a little bit more ergonomic. See how it has a little bit of bend in the hand? Maybe that's a little bit better. Feels a little bit nicer. All right, we're gonna have to try it out, but it definitely feels different. In some ways, this feels better. In some other ways, it doesn't, right? Um, It's a more comfortable. Throw. It's more comfortable and uh, doesn't actually require much force, whereas this one, I mean, a little bit more force just to push it back. This one feels so much smoother. 
but it is bulkier, right? It is, it feels bulky, yeah. It feels like I gotta like wrap my whole rant hand around this. But that, it looks like that's why they put that angle in it. Yeah. The fittings on the M piece looks the same. It's even the same length and you get the same fittings. You get zero, 15 degrees, 25 degrees, and 40 degrees. We found them all to be pretty useful. You wanna be careful if you ever use the zero degree though. That'll strip off paint. I think that's it as far as the changes. The backs of these, back end looks identical. The structure in the back is all identical. The plate you use to mount it is identical. So it all looks the same. With the new one, you get more pressure. I think this one can go up to 2,500, whereas the old one was around 2,200 and usable was around 18. This one can do the full 2,500, which is kind of nice. And we are told the hose reel is improved. That's what we want to try out next. We're going to go ahead and install the new one in our location, hook it up to water and see what it does. It fits. Put the gun where we normally put it. <laughs> it doesn't fit on there, huh? No. Okay, we'll have to adjust that. So you always want to make sure you're screwed on tight. You're gluten tight. Good and tight, not Ethan tight. Shut up. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, turn it on. Okay, stop. It's not tight enough, Dad. Why does it look like it's leaking from in between it? It is. No, the other one did the same. See, look, as soon as I lift it. Okay. See if it works. Should we try? There it was. That was this. But the this. black piece was in on our way. We had the same problem last time we did this with this fitting. Guys, I would love to see this integrated so that this is easier to do. Maybe this needs to come out too, because we ended up damaging this just trying to tighten both of these. So this is still an area to to fix. Just loosen it up until so that piece can move. Oh, just it's one. No, it's two pieces. I hear as well. Okay, so let's adjust this so that this is like that, and then push it in and figure out where it needs to go. You want it right there? Yeah, right about there. Just pull it out a little bit so you can get it in the right spot. All right, just let it recut all the way where it needs to be. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect, and adjusted. Getting close. What's it hitting? Okay, and you can see how the hose is replaceable now. Before it was crimped on, now it's screw on. Is that enough? Oh. Do we need more? Yeah. Let's coil it back in. So far it's doing a better job than the other one. The other one you would get stuck here when you coiled it back in. So far this is doing much better. it out number because this is now okay let's bleed it out let's get all the air out of it <laughs> <laughs> all right so wet. let's turn it on christian oh. turn it on <laughs> hold on hold on, hold on. This, feels, this feels so much stronger does it yeah get over here this feels like it has a lot more pressure to it It's definitely quieter. Even though it does make a whistle at the end though. Now the truck itself is actually clean. We cleaned it with the other pressure washer. Which, so we need a dirty car to test this out. And we're gonna use Ethan's A3 to clean it up. Cause Ethan's car is pretty freaking dirty. We're gonna use Keep It Clean's car. Now it's the fun part. We gotta adjust the foam cannon. We've never used it before. And hopefully we got our mix right too. We put a lot of water in it. Remember, it's a, it's two adjustments, right? It's an adjustment of the flow and adjustment of this too. So this you actually wanna have a little bit more closed and then this we have to play with the flow to see how much soap you wanna allow through. Do you want a little bit more? Let's see, let's, let's take a look at that. Okay, I think you have too much soap going in there. So if there's no, we're gonna do one, this, and close it up a little bit more. Okay, let's see if that does the whole side. Yep, there it is. Much easier to adjust, huh? Yeah. All right, hold on one second. Let's do a little bit more soap. So we're gonna go another, do That's half it. a turn. Let's do the front. Okay. 
painted my car white. Yep, we we're painting your car white. We're jizzing over my car, got it. There, jizzing is complete. <laughs> do, do I need to put some music on? Like put some Shook Up Ramen song on or something? Put some sugar on me. Okay, good. Ready. So overall guys, I really like the updates they did. This hose feels a whole lot nicer. It's easier to manipulate, it's not as rigid. So this was a really nice upgrade. And the fact that it's replaceable too is pretty good because that means that I can get whatever hose I want and put it on here or just get another one of theirs when this one wears out because that was something we were worried about the old one. You definitely feel the extra power though. It definitely feels like it has some decent power. The one complaint is still this fitting. Draft tools, guys, please fix that fitting. Give us something else. Give us something that's easier to, to tighten. Maybe something that we can tighten with tools without damaging the really nice little plastic right here. Because we had the same problem when we did the last one. And then lastly, this little guide, this new guide, is a huge improvement over the last one. It already looks like it guides the reel better. Before, we'd have problems with the reel would overlap in some spots and it just didn't really that good. This one looks to do a little better. Now our last one we've had for nine months and it hasn't had a single problem with it. There was never a point where it didn't work, even after heavy use. We were using it pretty heavily with, you know, using it three or four hours at a time. The only other thing that I think we would like to see, and I think a lot of you detailers had the same complaint is, we'd like to see just the reel so that you can add the reel to any pressure washer. So that would be cool to see. Draft tools, if you guys could do that in the future, that'd be great. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Overall, we're really happy with the upgrades of the new solution. The motor is definitely quieter by more than 15 decibels that we sound. The website said 84, we're reading closer to 80, 79, 80, so it is much quieter. It does do this little weird little chirp at the end. That's it. This motor is supposed to have a longer service life. The last motor had about a hundred hour service life, whereas the new one has three times that. So a lot of the cost for this thing goes there. And in the higher quality hose, the hose is much easier to manipulate, much easier to move around. And the FO cannon was much easier to adjust. There was less playing around with it. And we actually were able to dial it in within a minute, which really the other one was a little bit difficult to get it fine tuned in because it's so rough. So now let's talk price. This thing, as you see it here, is about $600. Is it worth that when the basic brand for all pressure washer is about $300? Um, I'm not sure if all the updates are worth double the cost. I think base grandfall pressure washer and maybe the plus are probably the better deal just for the functionality. And that's what we've been using for the last nine months. And we're really, really happy with those washers. So I think the cost might be a little too high for what it is, but the solution at its core is still really good. You can't go wrong with any of the versions. If you want to get the very basic one, the $300 one, it is worth it every penny uh, it is one of the best pressure washers we've had it makes washing the truck that much easier it's helped us keep the truck cleaner even though the channel's name is keep it dirty okay if you guys want to get one of these pressure washers whether it's the base version the plus or this one the pro we got a couple offers for our keep it dirty followers between november 1st and november 7th for one week only keep it dirty subscribers can get 10 percent off their order from giraffe tools using code keep it dirty off road on top of that during their black friday sale that starts november 18th and goes all the way to november 30th 2022 you also have the opportunity to save more they're going to be doing 75 dollars off for every 600 dollars or more and then it goes up from there there's a couple of discounts if you use the keep it dirty off-road code you will also get a free splitter which is about a 20 dollars value free host splitter that's some savings you guys help us out that's one of the ways that we're working with this company to get some commissions from them or doing these videos and we hope to do more work with them so please help us out support the channel by buying some cool products which these are whether you get the very base model one or this one or the plus plus it's the one we recommend. Get some cool solutions and make cleaning those trucks much easier. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Questions and comments below. Please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Keep it dirty. And Not with this. It's never been cleaner. And I blame Giraffe Tools. It's their fault. That thing is just convenient. Super easy. We just hook up the hose and we're ready to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.